guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to create this look. So I show you how I create this look. Um, I do include a new brand, PYT Beauty. I actually have been enjoying the few products that I did receive, so I wanted to incorporate them into a look. This here is my glowy winter go-to look. So you know how we all have like our spring look and then our, our summer look because our summer look is like super bronzed and glowy, like very natural eyes, just a mascara, a flushed skin look and call it a day. Winter time is not the same, for me at least. The winter time I need to have something on my eyes. I need to like be able to scream that I have makeup, but I also want my skin to look bronzed and glowy and that's what I created today. So this is like a super simple look. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, keep watching. I'm gonna use my Pixi Glow Tonic. I know I've got the really huge one back there. It's like here, but it's so cute. I don't wanna open it, not quite yet. So I'm gonna use that to clean my skin. I got out the shower, I did my hair. Didn't do much, but you know, did my hair. And um, I did clean my face, like I washed my face, but there's always residual dirt and makeup left on your skin so i like to go in with a toner and pick up whatever residue there is so we can get like a really nice kind of clean and balanced skin prepped for our makeup for starters, I'm gonna use this flawless filter. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a number six dark tan, and this is going to be used as my base. You don't really need a lot. You can actually use this as just like a plain oil foundation as well, but I just, I just like it for its luminosity. It looks so good on the skin. I actually really have been digging applying this under my foundation. It just does a little something extra. Do you see how glowy my skin looks right now? Like, come on. So now that it's blended all very, very well, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Magic Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna use two little pumps and I am going to dab that everywhere where my foundation will go and then just blend it in. I'm featuring a new brand on my channel. It is PYT Beauty. They actually had me go on their site and choose a few items that I would be interested in trying. I chose the brow product as well as the concealer and an eyeshadow palette because y'all know how I am with palettes. I've got to tell you, I wasn't expecting much from their uh, brow pencil, but they have a shade named Warm Black and I was curious because my hair is black. I do have tan skin but black can be so harsh and so I was very curious to see what warm black would look like on my skin guys not only is the shade amazing for me so anyone that has black hair this is an amazing shade okay so not just the shade um, you do get your spoolie that's kind of like the usual nowadays but what I like is the formula the formula totally feels like you've finished your brows up with like a brow mascara like brow gel it's like waxy you can just comb it through and your brows just feel like they're gonna stay in place so this one like i said it's in warm black i have been loving this shade it's not too harsh You see what I'm saying? Look at my brows. They like, they match me. Like they're not harsh. They don't look like Sharpie brows, which I think is great. And I just combed through them with my um, spoolie and they literally feel like I have brow gel on it. It's just, mm, there's something about this. The next PYT product that I do have here is this uh, concealer. It's all and nothing concealer. This one I want to say wasn't it medium gold. So mine is in medium gold and this is what it looked like. It's like a twist up. At first, I was just like, but really like a twist up? But now I get it. I mean, I actually really, I actually really started liking this concealer for like looks like this one, like glowy, very light. And the formula is actually really nice and it blends really well. So here we go. You can even do like your little thing with Jake. I don't really do this, but let's just do it for the sake of the situation. And um, it, like I said, it blends really well. 
and their shade selections were kind of decent. I feel like maybe there should have been a few more shades available, you know? They are a new brand, so I feel like they're launching with such great product so far, but look how that blended up. Come on. That is the concealer. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, you do have to set it. I did find that I needed to set it, but I set my concealers anyway because that's just what I do. I think most of us do anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this concealer with my Pretty Vulgar setting powder. And we're gonna move on to the eyes. And for the eyes, we're gonna go ahead and play around with the PYT No BS Eyeshadow Palette. You do get a full mirror, you get a base and a highlight, but these are all for the eyes, okay? So you get a base shadow, which we're gonna apply this all over our lid you see and it, they're really pigmented they really are i just feel like i would have liked to see more of a pop of color so hopefully at some point they'll come out with like eyeshadow palettes with pops you know but the pigmentation is definitely there i've been playing around with them really actually have been enjoying them and look let me just show you guys like super quickly that's the one shadow. When you look at this shadow on the pan, you don't think you're gonna get that payoff, but you really do. I zoomed you guys in, I wanna show you on the other eye. Look at the color payoff. It's there, it is a beautiful palette. Um, I feel like this is a terrific palette for anyone who is starting off with makeup, um, cause you can't make mistakes with this palette, you really can't. They're so blendable, the colors all work beautifully together. I mean, I'm happy I got this palette because it's just so pretty, to be honest. Like, it's hard nowadays to find the one palette that is so muted and kind of laid back in tones, you know? Every time I see an eyeshadow palette that has too much color in it, I automatically go from like nothing to glam. But this palette here allows me to kind of stay very natural, very neutral, and that's what we're going for today. Now I wanna use the gray shade over here, all over the lid. I've been obsessed with this shade, there's something about it. It's like you're not necessarily doing a smoky eye, right? But at the same time, you do get that kind of smoky effect. It's just really pretty, and I love the way these shadows just all complement each other. And to finish off the eye, I'm gonna go ahead and use this light kind of pink champagne shade. And I'm going to add that to the inner third of the eye, just to kind of open the eye up a little bit. For my lashes, I'm gonna use the Lorac Pro Lash Pomade. And I'm still trying to figure out if I love this mascara or not, if I'm honest. I'm not sure quite yet. To warm up my skin a little bit, I'm gonna use my Park Avenue Princess uh, bronzing palette. I feel like I neglected her for a little bit, so we're like diving right back into her. And I just washed my brushes, which makes me really happy. I'm like a happy camper right now. So we're going to just warm up the skin a tad bit. For blush, I'm gonna use this Lancome Hot Couture blush. I learned my lesson from my like boxy charm on boxy. So I'm using a, a stippling brush, and I still think that's, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> For highlight, we're gonna use the beautiful Anastasia Beverly Hills M. Resi highlighter. She's so freaking pretty. I didn't get a chance to get my hands on her the first time around when she was released, so you know I had to the second time. So I'm going to add some over on like the bridge of my nose, which I don't do all the time, but for a glowy look, why not? Do you see how freaking pigmented this thing is? When I want this glowy kind of J-Lo glow type of situation, I go across and then I blend it down. So it'll look like you have this healthy sun-kissed glow. And for a look like this one right here, the eyes are just so kind of like simple and pretty. The skin is so glowy. So I'm gonna go with my favorite lipstick. This one is by Maybelline and it is raw chocolate. I don't know if they still make it, I hope so, because it is literally my favorite. It is my perfect nude. And this is the final look. I personally have really been enjoying this type of kind of natural smoky eye, especially for the winter time. This is kind of like my go-to. I feel like just plain eyes and uh, glowy skin, it, I prefer that more in the summer. So when I think about glowy, 
kind of natural makeup for the winter time this is what i kind of automatically imagine and i gravitate towards i can't get over how great my brows look i've got to admit this is a terrific color for me right now make sure you comment down below what is your glowy look for the winter time is it just like the summer or do you change it up a notch all right guys that is a wrap for this video as per usual my social media platforms are right here make sure you go follow me there if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video hi guys Thank you.